Peace, peace, peace. This is your humble hip-hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You're rocking with the best. Y'all heard? Good morning, champions. Good morning. I wanted to say what's up. It's been a, about a week since I've been on Facebook Live. I've been uh, real busy uh, doing the No Sleep to Success lately. Um, I want to thank you guys too, man. Our videos with No Sleep to Success has been... The, the views have been amazing. Amazing. I wanted to let you guys know that um, because we've been charting... Every video that we've been putting out with DeAndre L. Rucker, No Sleep to Success, has been superseding um, the previous videos. So our best video thus far is the last one that we just did, um, which reached about almost 800 people in 24 hours. And I want you guys to understand something, that all of that is organic, you know? All of that is organic, it's not paid. Some of it is borrowed. When I mean borrowed, that means uh, when you guys share it on your page, it helps us with reaching and touching more people's lives with those videos. So um, I want to thank you guys again. Remember uh, that our videos that we're doing for No Sleep to Success are charting. And we couldn't do that without you guys. So um, without further ado... Good morning, champions. I'd love to hear three things you're grateful for. Gratitude exercise. What are you grateful for? Me, I'm grateful for this beautiful, cool day in Chicago. I'm grateful for my wonderful wife and kids, as usual. And I'm grateful for this five-hour energy that I have. Plug, plug, plug. Right? to get my workout in because I want to have an intense workout at the gym this morning. So this is going to be a real quick, short video about, do you guys know that you're missing out on 66% of sales of people that visit your website? Did you know that? 66% of the people that visit your website, right? They come to your website, they see a product that they like, they click on the product, then they even go as far as putting all their information in to the checkout, and then they get ready to check out, and then they back out. They back out at the last minute. How are you recovering those people? That is my question. How are you, what system do you have in place that is recovering those people? that actually are preparing to buy something from your website, they actually put all their information in, they even get as far as putting their credit card number, and then for some reason, let's just say you had tax, the tax gets included at the last minute, and they're like, oh, this is too much money for the tax, or this is too much money for the shipping and handling, and they just back out, they just like, forget it, they cancel the sale. What system do you have in place in order to uh, recapture that customer because that customer obviously liked what you had but for some reason the, the tax or maybe is the shipping and handling threw them off a little bit and they weren't prepared to buy that product for that much money so I want to um, I want to share something with you right before I go into that I had I had a epiphany a realization about myself. I realized that I am good in making companies money. I'm not necessarily the best when it comes to getting my own company money. The reason why is when it's my company, I tend to take things a little more personal than if I were to do it for somebody else's company. So, when I realized that this was a hindrance, maybe it was because I've been in the workforce for so long. Maybe it's because, um, you know, I've been brainwashed and I've worked for people most of my life and stuff like that, that I just could not, you know, 
get my business jumping as well as I could get somebody else's business popping. So what I what I did for my gift and my curse, I signed over my corporation to my wife and kids. Not because I love them, but because I know that when I when I put myself in a position to work for somebody else, that I'm no longer taking things personal, I may push the product, I may push their services a lot harder. So now I'm working for my wife and kids. I tell them I am an employee of your company, right? And then I push the business. I push the business. So I just wanted to share that quick tidbit with you guys, but check it. So the magic formula to recapturing 60% of the sales that you're missing is da 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 abandonment cart campaign. Do you have an abandonment cart campaign? Now, if you do not have an abandonment cart campaign, let me explain to you what that is. An abandonment cart campaign is this. Hold on one second. I gotta get some gas. So, abandonment cart campaign is this. Somebody goes on your website, they like your services, they like everything that you're offering, right? They get to the checkout, they, they're getting ready to um, purchase a product and let's just say they run into um, additional costs like shipping and handling or, or additional sales tax right and then they jump off the website because they weren't prepared to spend that much money on that product abandonment car campaign is a system that is in place that captures all of that information that they put in whether it was their name their email and their address, right? And what it does, that system sends out an email to them and says, hey, John Doe, you are gonna purchase our product A, B, and C. Something happened. Uh, is there something that we can help you out with? Is there something that uh, you could not find or maybe it was something that, you know, something, it's something that triggered them to run away and not purchase your product. So what you do is that abandonment cart campaign sends out an email. Now, the trick is when you send out that abandonment cart campaign, you can attach a coupon to it. Now, some of you guys may have seen it with Groupon. Some of you guys may have seen that with Amazon. A lot of do this. It sends a coupon and say, hey, look, we don't want to miss your business. Take this coupon <clears throat> with 5% off your purchase that you were going to purchase, the item that you were going to purchase, and then use this coupon to purchase that item. And then hit this link, and it will redirect you right back to the page where you left off. The abandonment cart campaign ha can rescue almost 43% of the sales that you may lose from a person just checking out and not going completely through with the process. The abandonment car campaign, I'll explain it. Maybe it's, I got a little jumbled with it, but <clears throat> let's say someone goes to your website, right? They click on, they click on, um, let's just say selling uh, aspirin, right? Let's just say aspirin. They click on the aspirin. They was like, okay, $9.99 for the aspirin. They click on it. They go to the checkout. They start to begin the checkout and they hit put in their information, their name, their email, their address, and everything like that. And then when they hit the checkout button, all of a sudden sales tax pop up, shipping and handling pops up. It comes up to an additional maybe seven dollars, right? Me as a customer, put yourself in the in the customer's good morning, brother Gregory. Put yourself in the customer's shoes. They're prepared to spend ten dollars on that product. With your shipping and handling and your sales tax, it comes up to seventeen dollars. Now, me as a customer said, oh, I just wanted to spend ten dollars for that product. I jump out of your website. I no longer buy the aspirin from your website. Now, the abandonment cart campaign is designed a system that detects that John Doe was going to buy some aspirin from your website. He did not 
finalize the checkout, let's send him an email. And in this email, it's going to say, hey, John, we saw that you were going to purchase a, you know, a bottle of aspirin and you could and you didn't go through with the transaction. <clears throat> Excuse me. You didn't go through with the transaction. Is there anything we can do out with? You put in a, it as a phone number. Now, mind you, you composed that email that gets sent out. You composed it. You have the persuasive language inside of that email that goes in. Is there anything that we could have helped you with? Maybe there was uh, there was some information that you didn't have about that aspirin. But you can call this number if you have any questions, right? In any matter, we have attached a coupon for 5% off. Hit this link below and it will automatically deduct the 5% off or just enter, you know, free. Type in free in the coupon section and it will automatically deduct that 5% coupon. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what happens is now you're recapturing, you're reintroducing that product to your customer that your warm customer that did not complete that transaction and you got them to come back to your website. So you jumped into their email, say, Hey, I saw that you were purchasing this product. You didn't have a chance to purchase it. We're not sure what happened. You can either give us a call and then if they call us, we can sell them on it again. Right. Or you can take this 5% off uh, coupon, go back to the website and type in free in the coupon section and we earn their business. Now you did not lose a sale. You still captured that sale. So if you do not have an abandonment, it's called abandonment cart campaign. If you don't have one like that in place, you need to get one in place because it will save you. It will, it will get, close to your 66% of your lost sales back to you. 66% of people that are getting ready to go to your website and make a transaction that jump off of it, you can recover those 